Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here, and time for another video. It's the weekend, and I hope all is going well for you. Things are getting back to normal around here at the uh, Ken Surfs Humble Abode, so that's kind of nice. And I'm going to continue with using products that I previewed in the mail call, uh, maybe last week? I think it was uh, last weekend. Today is from Blackland. The Vector. And I was actually really looking forward to this razor because I, I, I saw Rudd's Shaves and a couple of other guys do reviews on this last year. And that, it's a single edge, but it just is one finely machined piece of uh, equipment, I'm telling you. Machined here in the USA, shipped and packaged from the USA, the tolerances. Look at the look at the seam. I don't know if you can see the seam there. It's like almost one piece, and it's a three-piece razor. It's got that. Although we've got the round hole there, we have in order to lock that blade in place. We have the rectangular threaded uh, piece that holds it in. So you might be able to cross a thread on that. So I'm just real careful with that, but. She's a, let's see if I can take this apart here without dropping something because my hands are always fumbly. There we go. Really, really finely machined piece of equipment. So I'm going to be using that today. And actually it goes on real easy. For the first time, I'm going to use a blade that uh, I've been using in my Razor Rock Hawk, the Black Hawk. And actually, these blades last an incredible long time. I must have got 10 shaves with that previous blade that's in that, that Razor Rock razor. So I'll be using this today. And I, I usually just eject it and, and load it, but we'll be, we'll be trying that. From the Rocky Mountain Barber Company, some sandalwood shaving cream. Now this, oh, obviously... Mm, sandalwood, but it's a soft cream. Look at that. So I'm going to do a face lather today with this. I'm not going to put this into a bowl. I'm going to use a, I'm going to do a face lather on it. And uh, we've had a lot of winds here in Southern California. Cold, cold winds. We've had all this, these polar storms that you guys are having throughout the United States. And it's just cold wind in my face. I've got, uh, I've actually got sebum gold on my face now uh, from this morning because I was down at the beach walking the dog and the winds were just blowing. So it's really been chapping my face, my lips, everything. So when the shave's done today, I'm gonna put on some sebum purple. Uh, this is a really a, just a post-shave serum to keep your skin you know, protected, adds all the rejuvenating oils and everything back to the skin. So I'm gonna use some pre-shave too. Thrive. It's actually shave oil. I could probably just put this on and shave with it, but I'm going to use this as pre-shave because my skin's really been, been bad. Oh, and I'm going to top it off with some Safari. Man, I love this stuff. I oh, just love it. So we're going to be using Safari today. The, bl bl the brush from DS Cosmetic. Got it soaking for about 20 minutes now in the crystal skull. So in nice, nice warm water. Speaking of the Crystal Skull, Mrs. Surfs went over to Home Goods and found two of them on the shelf, two Crystal Skulls. So I'm able to replace the one that uh, got broke under mysterious circumstances. And I'll probably give one away in the 10,000 subscriber appreciation giveaway. I believe I'm 35 subscribers away from that giveaway. So let's see, I think I've described everything I'm gonna be using today. I'll do a cut right here in case this falls off the shelf. I have a good cut point, so hold on. All right, so I've got the blade loaded up. Let me wet my face. Put on some Thrive Oil here. Thrive pre-shave. Here, look. You see it kind of soaping a bit. 
This came from a recommendation from another YouTuber, Mr. Tantra Man. I thank you for that tip, my friend. All right. Let's get this. Face lathering is interesting because you just never know. I'm taking some, I'm putting it right under this brush. You just never know. Do I have the right moisture in it or not? It can go really good, but you can look like a total jerk. <laughs> I've looked like a jerk more times than enough. But this DS cosmetic brush has one hell of a good bag. Her head not on it, so no problems. These guys contacted me and you know they see you have your you have their name and logo on the bottom and they said maybe we can do a Ken Surf's brush in a limited edition, maybe 50, 25. And they asked me about that, but I told them I have to think about it. I don't know if I want to do that. Okay. Get all that oil and soap off the hand. Here we go. Wow. You guys were not kidding. Wow. And someone asked the difference, what I like better, the DE blade or the single edge blade. And to be honest, this is a single edge blade, except it's got two sides to it. This single edge blade just has the one side to it. So you could do the same with a DE razor, but you'd just be using one side of the blade all the time. It is a little wider blade, if you can see. These artisan blades are a little wider, so the these single edge blades kind of cover more real estate with every uh, pass but this one is going to get under my nose so well because that head is so tiny look at that it's going to get under my nose very well some of you are asking me on that shaved in tour where are the soaps and what happened is i usually keep this semi messy and my wife said hey you gotta have this place looking good if you're gonna do a shaved end tour so uh, a lot of the soaps are under the sink and then i have a, a plastic container that i keep in my man cave uh, with the pinball machines with uh, more of the soap so here they are see it's kind of a mess so that's why I didn't really include them in the shaved end tour but there they are now if you're going to the big shave southwest they're having a pay it forward table there where people bring their extra stuff and they put it out there for free for other people to take and maybe those people will put in some extra stuff. So I'll be bringing a lot of that soaps and maybe some brushes and some items to the Big Shave Southwest to put on that table uh, for free for, uh, for you guys. I've done that when I visit West Coast Shaving and I've done it when I've done the Riverside Meetup. And it's kind of cool because a lot of you guys have extra stuff you don't need and you bring it and some people have never tried those items before. Superb under the nose. One of the viewers uh, I know from Warsaw, uh, he was in India and he said he's picked up a lot of products that are really reasonable in India. And uh, he's gonna send me some, some I've never tried before. So I'm looking forward to doing kind of an Indian shave. Uh, I'll be using my Gillette Wilkinson sword blades from India in that, but uh, they have like a seven o'clock razor and uh, 
Park Avenue uh, soaps. So, and shave cream. So, we'll see how that goes. Very nice. Now, one of you were saying that you get irritated on the second pass. I could quit now. This is perfect. But I like talking to you, so... Uh, well, a little more soap on there. I like talking to you guys, so I'll run this a little longer. It's funny that sebum gold and the sebum purple really helps your skin in the summer months when it's dried out. But I tell you, mine is getting dried out like crazy here in the winter months in California. All right. It is a relaxing day. And, uh, I'm feeling a lot better. Thank you for your support. I, uh, I had mentioned I lost my friend, uh, Sarab. He, uh, he started working with me in 1988 at, uh, the Caltrans at uh, the state of California. And, uh, he retired about two years ago. And then I heard, we used to meet for lunch every few months catch up on gossip. But uh, I heard he had, had throat cancer and it had kind of spread and I went to visit him in the hospital Tuesday, a week ago, a week ago last Tuesday. And uh, he looked like he was doing better. Sounded optimistic to me. Then I got the phone call on Saturday that he had passed away. And uh, originally from Pakistan, he moved to Oklahoma. And uh, a great guy, great guy, ran two New York marathons at age 65. Two. Year apart. And being the Zoroastrian faith, I got the call in the morning he had passed away, got the funeral notice at 1 o'clock Saturday, and the funeral and memorial was 10 o'clock the next day, like that. But I had a chance to talk to him for about an hour. It seemed good to me. You just never know. Cancer, if you can catch it early. Here's your PSA, guys. Get checked out. And girls, get checked out. Catch that stuff early. Too many of us have lost. I was talking to Doug Smythe. He lost his father to cancer. I lost my father to cancer, so... Uh, don't mean to bring you down. Having a good shave, having a good day, but I'm able to talk about it now. I wasn't able to talk about it uh, earlier in the week. And to cheer me up, my wife and son took me to see uh, Captain Marvel this morning. Damn, it was good! <laughs> it's this old guy watching Carter uh, superhero movies. It was really, really a good movie. And then they have two uh, during the trailers, midway through the end, uh, through the uh, credits, and then at the end they have two good kind of follow-ups of what's coming. All right. My mirror is right here. Camera is right there, but I'm watching myself on the camera instead of watching myself in the mirror. I'm not a good actor. I'm not supposed to look into the camera. Again, seriously, BBS. Wow, 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 what a combo. What a combo, fantastic. And I love, love, love the feel of this razor. And again, this is not an entry level razor. A lot cheaper razors out there, but this is, you know, you guys get these razors when you're doing the uh, kind of the ultimate step up. 
Very nice though. Very nice. All right, I don't work for the company, okay? <laughs> and the soap worked out fantastic. All right. Yeah, still a little dry. So we'll try some sebum purple. Again, not cheap stuff, but it really, really works good. I like this bottle. Got a really nice stopper in it now. Comes in kind of a, a little bottle like this, and uh, you just pour it into this, and now uh, I've got it here on display. Only problem is, is uh, let's see. I want to pour this out very mild. You know what? I'm just going to go for it. A dime size, dime size. So a little bit in the palm. No burn. Smells like lavender. You might look a little oily, but boy, it's keeping your skin moist. Helps keep away the wrinkles, right? All right. Now, I'm a sucker for a burn. An aftershave burn, let's see. Safari, Ralph Lauren. I don't think they make this anymore, but I was fortunate enough to find two full bottles on eBay. And uh, there's the burn. Someone told me if you're using Uday Toilette or cologne, shoot one down your back a little bit, and they can smell you going, not just coming towards them. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, hope you're having a good weekend. Like I said, mine is going very well. Uh, great products today. And I am looking forward to doing another shave real soon. All right. Got another full day tomorrow before I have to go back to work. So you guys enjoy yourself and we'll talk to you again very, very soon. Thanks for your subscriptions and thank you very, very much for watching. Till next time.